All right, guys, what's up? It's your boy Valis here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get more FPS and uh, how to get less visual clutter and also how to have less input delay as well. All right, without any wasting any time, guys, we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, for the settings uh, in game, what I'll do is I'll go into settings in game and I'll show you guys my NVIDIA settings and then my convict uh, files. Uh, for the settings, some of these settings are going to be the same as my old ones. Nothing really changed for in game settings, but I will run through them either way uh for interrupt prompt style i have this compact uh the reason why i have a compact then the default is because it makes it all look very nice instead of having a big box and telling you what it does uh and then for oops, uh and then for button hits i have this on off crosshair dash feedback i have it on off as well this is personal preference uh if you like it with x or x or icon you're more than uh, happy uh more than welcome to have it on but me personally i like to have it off uh, damage numbers i have it on stacking and the help bar i have this enabled this is a new setting they had it in me personally i really like it it's a really big advantage if you have it on if you don't i think it's a disadvantage so me personally i would have this on uh ping opacity is on faded enemy highlights is enabled as well big advantage i think you should have this on uh this uh Missionaries, I have this on on. Minimap rotations, I have that on on. Weapon, uh, weapon auto cycle on empty, I have this on. Uh, me personally, I like to have this on. I think it helps me a lot, but you can always have it off as well. Um, always sprint, I have that on as well. Uh, auto run, I have that off. Jetpack control, I have that on hold. Incoming damage feedback, 2D. Uh, 3D is really good as well, but I just personally like the 2D. Uh, but if you want to get the one that if you want to choose the one that's better, I will personally go for 3D. Um, that's uh, taking damage to close this death box. I have that on off. Uh, off screen portraits. I have that on pop up, pop up off uh, stream remote is on off. Uh, anonymous mode. I have that enabled use to sharing disabled performance display is on. Uh, communication filters on everybody. Reticle is going to be custom. I have a like a little lime green color why i just want to copy it is in the bottom right here is 1025 255 and 135. um and then it's laser sights i have that on default i don't really touch this one too much you can choose whatever you want but me personally i just have it on yellow uh colorblind mode trinopia and it subtitles off uh normal for subtitle size and then enable accessibility is off Cover incoming off and play incoming chat is on off. Uh, mouse and keyboard settings. Uh, for mouse sensitivity, I play on 65. My uh, DPI is at 1,600. Uh, and then ADS mouse sensitivity, I have that on one. Uh, I do occasionally do switch it on, but this is I don't really use per optic ADS sensitivity anymore. I used to back in my last uh, season uh, settings update, but. I currently now just turn it off and I just play on 1.0. I feel like my aim is just way more better. Uh, there's sometimes I'll bump this up to 1.1, but usually I just stay on 1.0. Uh, and then mouse acceleration off, mouse invert off, clamp mouse cursor is off, and then lighting effects is off. Uh, all my uh, binds here is going to be a little different for some of y'all. And then some of y'all might have different binds than me. But what I'll do is I'll just go over the ones that I've changed and then the rest I'll probably won't go over too much. But uh, for move forward, I have a scroll wheel up for uh, strafing and then jump a scroll wheel down for any like, you know, movement wise for jumping like so bunny hops and stuff like that. Uh, natural ability, my mouse button on f and then my ultimate ability on my other uh, mouse button. So I use those two. Uh, but. Other than that, most of my keybinds are kind of uh, just, you know, somewhat default. Uh, but I will scroll these very slowly so you guys can go look through them. All right, now moving on to we're going to skip controller because I don't really play controller at all. So we're going to skip controller and we're just going to head to video. Uh, for video, I play on stretch res. I play on a 4.3. I play 13.50 by 10.80. That might be a little stretch for some people and that might be like, you know, an insane stretch. Uh, but 
if you want a, a good stretch res, I would say 168 by 1050 or 728 by 1080. Uh, but if you want a good stretch, more stretch of a res, I guess you could go with 1440 by 1080. That's not a bad res. I used to play on that myself. But if you want anything more stretch, you could try my res 1350 by 1080, or you can try 1280 by 1080. But 1280 by 1080 is a little bit too stretch for me, uh, so I just personally play 1350 by 1080. Uh, field of view um, is going to be uh, 120 it says 110 but in the configs it's going to be 120 uh, and also brightness is at 90 percent i like my game a little bright uh, and then fov ability scaling i have this on disabled if you do not have this on i mean if you guys have this on and play on uh less than 120 i would recommend you guys turn this off uh because uh if you guys ever use bloodhound or you know octane and you guys stim or you oh your fov actually gets really big and actually messes up your uh f uh, and your aim possibility or maybe you know anything else uh and know some people who have it on it doesn't really mess with them it's all personal preference but me personally i like to turn it off uh it wouldn't really matter though if i had it on because i am playing 120 uh, but you know, if it's really personal choice, if you want on or off, uh, sprint shake view, uh, sprint view shake is on minimal. Uh, and then all my, uh, settings here are mostly turned off or disabled. Uh, NVIDIA reflex mode is on enable plus boost. Um, uh, but yeah, everything else though is mostly just turned off or disabled. Uh, and also in the config files, it's going to be just going to be some settings in there that will even help your game even more. Uh, but we'll get into that, uh, on later audio master volumes at 100 and then my output devices on my audio course and then output configs on stereo my mic is plugged in there i push to talk um and incoming voice chat is volume is on 100 sound effect volume is at 100 dialogue volume is at 60 music volume i have that off volume music i also have to turn that off uh game playing volume when spectating is on 100 and an emote preview sound is on and sound and background is off all right so now going into my video control panels uh first things first uh make sure you go to adjustment image settings right here and go to use my peripheral my use my preference and you guys the little uh little slider here might be on balance or maybe quality but what you guys want to do is take and slide all the way down to performance hit apply and then hit on use my advanced 3d image settings and just hit take me there or you can just hit the manage right there uh and then first things first is that these settings here are all changed might be different from yours uh but yeah i'm gonna run through them and then i'll also uh slowly scroll through them so you can pause it and then you know change them to your liking or maybe you know just see how my settings look like than yours so first things first image scaling i have that on off and been occlusion i have that on off I scroll, I scroll filtering is on application controlled and then FXAA is on off gamma correction on anti-aliasing mode is on Apple con uh, application controlled and then anti-aliasing transparency is on off background application max frame rate I have on off uh CUDA GPU is on all uh, and then fallback policy is driver default factors uh DSLR factors are off Low latency mode is on off for this low latency mode. The reason why I have it on off, a lot of people might have it on on or ultra. Um, this one you kind of have to experiment on your PC because everyone's PC is different. Uh, I, me personally, I feel like when I have it on off, my game just runs a little bit more better. So I have it on off. I also keep it on on sometimes, but most of the time I just keep it on off. Uh, but for this setting, you kind of have to, you know, experiment with your machine and kind of see what works for you. Uh, max frame rate, I have it on off. Uh, multi-frame is on off as well. Open GIL GDI, uh, GDI is on auto and then rendering GPU is on auto select. And then power management mode is on prefer maximum performance. And then prefer refresh rate is on highest available. Uh, shader cache size is on 10 gigabytes. Uh, I what I would recommend here is that if you have enough space on your hard drive, try to do 10 gigabytes or one gig uh if you can't do one of those i'll just leave it on uh, driver uh, driver default uh but if you have enough space i would try to 10 gigs or maybe even one at the lowest uh but if you have a that and if you have a lot ton like, like i'm talking about like you know more than two terabytes uh, you have like a crap ton of this space you can do 100 or unlimited uh but me personally i don't i have a lot of space but i don't have that much so i just leave it at 10 gigs um but yeah uh filter uh, filter anisotropic sampling is on off uh and then 
navigate LOID bias is on allow quality filtering is on quill quality and then this one is on on and then uh, thread optimization is on auto triple buffering is on off vertical sync off virtual reality pre-render frames on one virtual reality uh super sampling is on off and then OpenGL present method is on auto uh most of these are just default these are vr so i don't really play a vr on my computer so that one's going to be on that going on to change resolution a lot of people are going to be wanting to know how to play stretch res first things first uh make sure to come down here to customize uh i'm currently playing on uh currently like uh have my two screens kind of sharing so it's not gonna let me allow to put a new one but i'll just show you how to do it but what you would want to do is hit create custom resolution and then a tab like this would open up and then what we will do is add your new res whatever res you want to use to stick it in here and make sure your refresh rate is your same refresh rate on your monitor that you're playing on and then what you'll do is hit test uh, i can't do it but you'll hit test and it'll your screen will go black for a few seconds and come back and it'll show you the actual res and then it will just show you another box that says do you want this res just hit okay and it'll probably black out again and then that's that and then you just exit out and then you'll have it here and it's click okay uh and then for my vibrancy i have mostly all this default the only thing that's up is my digital vibrance i have this cranked up to 100 uh, i know a lot of people who play less than this it's really all personal preference on the digital vibrance uh, i used to play on 75 uh, all the way to 80 but i just cranked it up to 100 because that's how i like it and then to adjust desktop size make sure that you guys have it on full screen uh platform scan is on display and then override scaling mode set by game is checked. Uh, now for this one, a lot of people are going to say GPU is better than display. Uh, I don't really see a difference on any of them. I played on both of them. This one you can choose, but me personally, I always keep it on display. So, all right, now moving on, we're going to be moving to the CFG files now, and I'm going to show you guys how to get there. First things first is open up Steam. Uh, go to this gearbox right here, hit properties, go to install files, and then go to browse. And right here, it's going to say COG, click on that, and then your auto exec should pop up. Now, if you don't have an auto exec file here, it's fine. I'm going to be leaving one uh, for mine and down in the description. You guys can download. Um, but if you want to add one, just uh, right click right here, go to new, go to text document, and just name it auto exec, right? As so. Um, and then just like that. Uh, but I already have one, so I'm not going to name it that. But if you download mine, just drag and drop. And then in here is just going to be the auto exec and all these settings that's in here are not mine. I downloaded from another YouTuber. I'm going to show you guys his name on screen, whenever I'm editing, but, um, his settings has helped me a lot. There's a lot of things in here that will help you as well. Gives her shadows and just particles and just all the unnecessary stuff that really just, you know, would not really benefit you. Uh, but in here is going to be, you know, the one, uh, 240 FPS to 120, uh, FOV right here. And then, uh, there's going to be some more things down here, like, uh, shadows and stuff like that. Uh, but all the way down here, it's going to be also your stream memory. Uh, if you want to play maybe like a little higher, uh, stream memory, you don't want it all, you know, potato looking, you can up it up to like, maybe like, uh, 10,000. It's like between low and like the straight up nothing. So it's in that middle range right there where I it's not going to use too much. Uh, I use that myself, but if you guys want to use that, you guys can. Personally, I like my at zero. And also, one more thing I forgot to add as well is when you go to properties general and then go to your launch options, make sure to add plus exec dot auto exec as well. Uh, this will help make sure to uh, make sure to apply those settings from the auto exec. All right, guys, that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys to drop a like and consider subscribing as well. And other than that, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace, guys.